Yeah, I mean, he's in line to start, so uh, that's uh, that's good. You know, I mean, being able to get him get him back and continue to uh, you know, get these get this work and, and, and help us find a way to you know win a road game uh, within the division. You think so, uh, Chig? Maybe the last four or five weeks seem to be more productive. Ah, uh, just trying to be consistent, you know, and sometimes. You know, you go through, uh, you know, a stretch or you have some, some plays that, you know, don't necessarily, you know, go go your way or you know, things happen. And, and again, life and in sports and you know, everybody's professional world and life that sometimes, you know, you're going to have to battle through and, and work through. So I think that the consistency and his attitude and uh, preparation you know, has helped and being available and, and then continuing to to work and you know make the plays that that come his way and not not forcing anything. How things go incorporating the five new guys in and, and kind of getting them up to speed? Oh, uh, good. I mean, I think if we have any of those guys come up, um, feel like you know they've worked hard and in a short amount of time, and, and we'll see where we're at as far as elevations go. How's that, how's that Garrett done in terms of having to match up against guys he's given away seven, eight inches of height to? Right, competitive and challenges. I mean, he's not going to get any taller. Um, but like his competitive spirit and uh, gaining great knowledge of what we're doing and uh, you know, has had some, you know, some real positive snaps. What's the challenge with, with Stroud? Uh, and, and what's maybe impressed you about watching him this tape? Uh, you know, there's a calmness to him in the pocket. I think that he certainly believes in his arm, and when they've given him time to to wait things out, you know, being able to to put the ball in in, in all different spots of the field and operate under center, operate in a gun, and uh, you know, use his legs when he when he's had to. Was there anything that stood out about him getting to know him in the pre-draft this year? Thought he was good at Ohio State. He's good in the pros. Mike, when there's other when there's a guy on the other side who has like an intricate knowledge of your offense in in Tier, how does how cognizant maybe are are you guys of that maybe in the preparation and just knowing that he knows what you guys like to run offensively? I mean, Seventeen games in, sixteen games in, it's a lot of a lot of tape. So I don't think that that's going to be an issue. They watch a lot of tape and you know, whatever Tier tells them, he tells them. How much can you do differently in the run game against? Well, we better do something differently. We better be more successful. Thanks, guys. We're, we're, Farley's we're guessing. Oh, Farley. Okay. You're we're guessing, guessing what? I say we're guessing the zero outs. Well, I think we have season. Uh, what kind? What does that mean to you after not getting it the last couple of games? Uh, after not getting what the last couple of games? Yards. You said last couple of seasons. You meant? Oh, um, it doesn't mean anything uh, to me, honestly. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm about my team's success, team winning, uh, and that's really all that matters to me. Return to Houston, uh, is that kind of uh, uh, something that you're keeping in the back of your mind uh, that you get a chance to uh, get back where you started your career? No, nah, not really. Uh, I still, I live in Houston, so I don't really put too much emphasis on, uh, you know, playing against Houston or the Texans. Uh, I played against them in Arizona, so, uh, you know, and then the last game, you know, it's always fun just playing against uh, you know, any NFL team to me. So I really don't put any emphasis on, uh, you know, me me playing there. You've talked in the past, though, about, you've talked in the past, though, about, like, oh, the teams that, I guess, didn't want you or didn't, you know, think that you still had elite receiver capabilities. This is a team that traded you away. So there's no level of going back, like, into the place where the team traded you away, proving that you're still that guy. No, I'm a man of Christ. I forgive. Love all, serve all. I know he Any said chance Brave will let you uh, sleep in your own bed at home Saturday night, or is he going to make you stay at the hotel like everybody else? Uh, he'll probably make me stay at the hotel. Uh, I would love to, be, to sleep in my bed the night before, though. Yeah, well, will it be different going in the opposing team's locker room, seeing people, whether it's support staff at the stadium, uh, people you knew well from down there, maybe thought about what that might be like, and you're looking forward to seeing some faces? Oh, yeah. Um, looking forward to the most just – Seeing familiar faces and, and, and the good folks that uh that work there. Uh, you know, and, and obviously some of the fans as well. A lot of uh you know, loyal Houston fans. My first year was two and fourteen and 
And I remember that place still, uh, you know, having an audience. You got any spots or restaurants you want to take people to this weekend? Uh, man, I got some spots maybe after the game. You know, Houston food a little heavy, so, you know, you got to eat that after, you got to eat that after the game, not before. What about recommendations for us? Any place better than El Tiempo? Uh, El Tiempo, any place is better than El Tiempo. Uh, yeah, this place called Turkey Leg Hut. Um, man, that's a lot of good food in Houston. Uh, shoot, man. It's a lot. Turkey Leg Hut. Who else? Freaking, um, and I don't know if y'all, y'all like steak. This place called Steak 48 is pretty good as well. What do you What's think the, the reception? Barbecue, barbecue or brisket place there? Uh, Killen's Barbecue to me. Uh, they got one in Pearland. Got a couple spots everywhere, but Pearland's probably the closest if y'all gonna be in the city. What's uh, what what do you think the reception? What do you, what do you expect to hear from the fans? And if you've always spoke highly of how people have treated you there. What do you think it'll be like when you come out and the other teams huddle wearing a Titans logo on your helmet? Uh, you know, hopefully it's still love and support. Uh, you know, so I think it'll be I think it'll be a lot of support and love still there for me. Uh, what do you know. Sorry. What do say quite a lot of, uh, of critics this year, DeAndre. Uh, you know, maybe people who doubted you at the beginning of the year, and maybe look at your numbers now, and you think you've you've silenced some folks that way. Uh, of course, uh, you know, but you know, everybody has uh, a way and a process they go about getting players. So uh, you know, only one team won a Super Bowl, and uh, you know, a lot of teams have uh, in that category. So you know. This is what it is, man. How often do you get a – I imagine the first interview you've ever done while getting your hair done. How often do you get your hair done, and, and what, what do you look for when your barber's working on you? Well, I got locks, man, and, uh, you know, all I do is wash and condition and moisturize these, uh, you know, once or twice a week. But, uh, you know, I get a haircut on the side here and there, maybe every other week, nothing crazy. I usually do it myself, so.